Razaban for fighthype.com with me. I've got my man, the knowledge, hashtag the historian, Spencer Ferron. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Spen? Listen, I'm blessed, even better to be out here. And better to see you, Raz, man. Big up, I keep on bigging up Fight Hype because Fight Hype is no hype, it's just big. I love it. We're here today at the, uh, the weigh-in for Anthony Joshua and Carlos Takam. It was supposed to be Anti Joshua versus Pulev. Pulev. Right. So let's get, get I'm going to go straight into it. From a psychological perspective, he's been trained for a certain style. 12 days before the fight, he gets told that his opponent can't fight. He's now fighting a completely different style, a completely different opponent. Is it going to be hard for someone like Anthony Joshua to adapt 19 fights? 19 wins. No, because you're looking at somebody like Andy Joshua. It's Andy Joshua. And also, no disrespect to Takam, who is aesthetically a better looking fighter than, than Pulev because of his build. He's, 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 he's got that build. He's got that proper cavemanish looking man. Mm. But we've got to be realistic. Andy Joshua's a monster. And now, is, is, is two weeks going to be enough for anybody to say they're preparing for Andy Joshua? No, it isn't. I don't care who it is. Andy Joshua is the top heavyweight in the world. He's a premier heavyweight. Unfortunately, Deontay Wilder is a champion of the Americas. And that's the truth. And that's no disrespect to Deontay Wilder, but bear love and respect for him. But this ain't gonna make no difference to him. Um, my guy's the real deal, man. A lot of people are saying, well, Takam's been preparing well. Eddie Hearn said that Takam's been preparing for this fight um, six, seven, eight weeks ago because we told him to stay as backup. But still yet, would it be hard mentally for him to be prepared knowing that Actually, Pulev will actually end up fighting Joshua. I'm just training for no reason or for this Monaco. Fight. No, 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 because he's been on it anyway. So he's been praying for this opportunity. You can see how 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 he's, he's overwhelmingly happy for the to be on the occasion, the event, to raise his profile. If he could put in a good performance, which I believe he will, this fight could go one round. He's still going to put in a good performance because he will come to fight. Because you you're the smaller guy. What's he going to do? He's going to back away from from Andy Joshua? You're crazy because you can't do it. You know what I mean? You, um, um, statistics would say you'd be nuts to go and do that. He's going to have to try and bring it to Andy Joshua and try and catch Andy Joshua in the past has been susceptible to left hooks as we saw in the Dylan White fight. So maybe that's his thing. He's going to be trying to throw a left hook. But really and truly, Andy Joshua is level, head, head and shoulders above Takam. But I know that Takam will come to fight. Will Takam give him more rounds than Pulev? Um, it would depend on how Pulev was going to... Because if you think about it, um, stylistically, Pulev is, is the better seasoned boxer, he's very clever, you can see that, he does, he sets up traps. Um, people seem to forget that before he got knocked out by Vladimir Klitschko, he hurt him. People seem to forget that. So, but no, we got, we got to be looking at saying like, Styles, this guy is better suited for Anthony Joshua, style wise. But Anthony Joshua is a big guy and he's punching down so he's going to get more velocity on the shot. But if it was, if it was Pulev, would I be, either either way, so Andy Joshua show, doesn't matter who he's fighting. Andy Joshua could say, I'm going to fight Raz, right? And he could fight you and he'll still sell at 90,000 because that's the pool, that's the allure of the man. And I think it's great for what he's doing for boxing. Is it 20 wins, 20 KOs or does this is still the distance? Are you, pardon me? This is fight. What Andy distance? Joshua all right, come on, come on. Let's just be real. Let's be real. It's, it's not Andy, Andy Joshua gonna 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 bang out Takam, and I would say he's gonna bang him out within about four rounds, right? But Andy Joshua's gotta be careful for those left hooks. Chief support for the fight, Dylan White, Robert Hellenius. Um, we know excellent who, fight. We know who Dylan White's been chasing. Deontay Wilder. He's now number three in the WBC. Number one is Stavon, who fights Wilder. And next week, number two, I believe, is Luis Ortiz. Yeah. Who probably will end up being banned. So yeah. it puts Dylan White in a great position if he beats Robert Hellenius to take on Wilder potentially next year. But why doesn't wanna why doesn't Wilder wanna fight Dylan White? Listen, number one is this. For and this is this is gonna be the title, right? Deontay Wilder. And it's my boy Stamina that told me this, right? So it's not even my line. He was saying, Deontay Wilder, you had a question for Deontay Wilder. And it's no, no disrespect to because we love you, Deontay. But, Deontay Wilder, why is it that you're calling and saying, Eddie Hearn, get, get, me, a, get me the fight. Get me the fight. You're screaming that to Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn is not your promoter. Shouldn't you be saying to Ludo Bella to make these things happen? Because Ludo Bella is your promoter. So I don't understand that bit. Why are you, you know what I mean? Because everyone knows right now the UK is popping, it's popping here. So when we're seeing like, could um, um, Deontay Wilder saying that he doesn't want to come here, but he's asking for like seven mil, 
No, come for something reasonable because we know the purses that you're getting out in America. So why are you saying like you want anything bigger? And not, not only that, but you don't bring a crowd. Do you understand? Come to the UK, fight Dylan White, have a bust up on the pay-per-views, will be incredible and that will be the great stuff. That's what you should be doing.